Hi, Amber. I'm Dr. B. Nice Hi. to meet nice you. To meet Thank you for coming in today. Yeah. Um, I see here you're in for your annual head to toe, um, and this is the first time we're seeing you. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Okay, so first time. When was your um, last assessment? Um, probably about a year ago. A year ago. Okay, perfect. So you're right on schedule. Okay. So how this works is um, if there's nothing nagging right now, mm -hmm. um, do you have any you know, current discomfort or pain? Um, none to speak of right now. Okay. So we'll just go head to toe, work our way through the systems. Um, and if anything comes up along the way, we can investigate a little bit further. All right. Okay. So I'll just run through some basic questions. Uh, I want to orient you to person, place and time. So, um, can you tell me your name? Amber. Okay. And about what time of day is it? Uh, 3.15. Perfect. Maybe? Perfect. And where are we right now? At the doctor's office. Perfect. So you know who you are and where you are. Um, are you, you said you currently no discomfort. So on a scale from one to 10, one being no pain, 10 being excruciating pain, where would you say your pain rate's uh, rated? Uh, zero to one. Zero to one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So working my way from your head down, um, are you experiencing headaches at all? Um, no. No. Okay. Perfect. No and what about um, any uh, itching of the scalp or pain of the scalp, hair loss, things like that? Um, no. No. Okay. Any changes with your vision, blurriness, double vision, um, inability to see? Nope, everything's good Everything good. And do you wear any sort of glasses or corrective lenses? No, I do not. Perfect. Okay. Um, the nose, any uh, changes in your smell or stuffiness, congestion, things um, like that? No, not to speak of. Okay. And same thing, anything taste different lately or any sores or pains in the mouth, shifting of the teeth, anything like that? No. And how often are you going to the dentist? Uh, every six months. I'll Perfect. Try. Yeah, that's exactly what we recommend. So. Okay, uh, moving down to uh, the chest, any uh, shortness of breath or um, issues with pains or palpitations of the heart, anything like that? I do get um, heart palpitations from time to time, but okay. nothing serious that worries me too much. Have you ever had that investigated or looked at, had an EKG done, anything like I that? I have in the past. Um, and those have come back normal? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll definitely take a listen. Okay. Um, any issues with the stomach? pains, discomfort, irregularity, anything like that? Nope, everything's okay. Good. And um, do you have any food restrictions or allergies? Nope. Any allergies to medications? Just penicillin. Penicillin, okay. All right, moving on to um, joint pain. Um, any pain with the joints or um, muscular it, um, wasting or weakness, anything like that? Nope. Okay. Any tingling in the hands and feet? Um, and any um, coolness or issue with the circulation, your hands and feet cold in the winter time? My hands and feet are always cold. Okay. All the time. And does that cause, no, you said no tingling or pins and needles no or anything like that? It's just just, just cold. Cold to the touch. Cold to the touch, okay. Uh, is that a manageable feeling for you or is it really uncomfortable? It's manageable. Manageable. Worse in the winter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. And do you work um, outside or are you inside in a climate control area? Both. All right, so I think I have everything written down for now. Um, with your permission, I'll start the assessment. Is it okay if I touch you? Yes. Okay. Um, so I will just start out by doing a general palpation of the head and apply some gloves. I know you said there was no um, pain or in the scalp, but I want to check through there as well. Okay. And feel free to just relax, close your eyes, but let me know if there's any discomfort, okay? So okay. I'm just going to be feeling into the head here, a couple different spots.
Any pain when I touch your hair? No. Okay. Feeling for lumps and bumps, as well as the tension in the muscles here. Try not to mess the hair up too much. No, you're good. Look through with the light. Just look a couple of spots here looking for the health of the scalp and the hair. There are just a couple of freckles I'm noting. One on this right side. Just gonna measure that. And is that something you're watching? This one right here? I don't think I've seen it, but I okay. will now you mention it. I will just make a note and I'll let you know. It's about one and a half centimeters symmetrical, even colors, flat, so not too worried about it. But especially anything that's hiding under the hair, we just want to keep an eye on. Gently for me, please. I'm checking here. I'm just gonna come around. Hair looks nice and healthy. No flaking, no dryness. Scalp is even color. I'm gonna check at the skin in the back of the neck while I'm back here. There is just a tattoo back here, but that looks really well healed. Have you had that for a while? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna check under here. Good. Again, just some freckling. Seems to be consistent throughout the body. Keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna take a look at the face. Skin is nice and clear and dry. Just a couple more freckles here I want to look at. Those ones are fine. Any pain when I touch here? Uh, no. Here? Mm -mm. Open and close your jaw for me, please. Just a slight clicking. Any pain with that? No. Okay. Push against my hand. Open the jaw. Good. Can you push against me here? I'm using the neck. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and back. And to your side and the other side. Good. Good strength. Check the shoulders for me. Perfect. Okay. That is all fine. Um, again, just just that one freckle in the hairline that I want to um, make a note of later, but um, everything else seems to be relatively normal and no problems that I would want to pursue. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a look into the eyes now. So again, I have this light and um, just stare straight ahead at that wall for me, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. I'm go checking the reflexes. Make sure the eyes are reacting. Perfect. Shine right in the middle here. Okay. You see this pen right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, follow it everywhere it goes. Is it clear for you? No double yes. vision? Okay, just follow it as I move it, just with your eyes. Any double vision with that? No. Okay, no nystagmus. Good. Like that. Ah, oh, perfect. Good job. When you're ready, I want you to look um, straight over the wall. Okay. Just ignore my pen. Now look at the pen and back at the wall. Good. So that's all fine. I'm going to take a look at the back of the eye. 
You said that you have pretty much 2020 vision, right? As far as you're aware. As far as I'm aware. Yes. Okay, excellent. So again, stare straight over there, just at that door over there. I'm going to come in from the side and I'm going to get quite close, so I apologize. Okay. Good, coming around on the other side. Okay. Have you ever done a color test before, a color vision test? Um, I can't remember if I have. Okay. So we'll just do a quick couple ones here, um, just to give a sense if you have any sort of color blindness or deficiency. Okay. okay so holding this about here, um, can you tell me what number you see? A uh, seven. Okay. Forty-two. Okay. And do you see anything here? No. Good. All right. That's normal response. Okay. Now I just have a Snellen chart. I'm going to hold it about 14, yeah, 14 inches away from the face. Um, can you read the 2020 line for me, please? It's this one here with the C starting right here. Okay. Uh, C, F, D, H, J. Okay. And the other, can you cover one eye for me, please? And read it backwards. J, H, D, F, C. And cover the other eye and read it forwards for me. C, F, D, H, J. Okay, can you read the one below that one? L, T, F, P, H. Very good. Okay. Use this to cover one of your eyes. I'm going to cover this one. You can look straight at me. Just stare at my nose here. Okay. okay. Tell me when you see my fingers wiggling. No. No. Good. No. No. Okay, switch eyes for me, please. Same thing, stare straight at my nose. Okay. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Excellent. Okay. While I'm doing vision stuff, I want you to um, touch your nose with your finger. Okay. Touch my finger. Follow it everywhere it goes. Touch the nose. Touch my finger. Nose, finger. Okay, for the other hand now. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that is all fine. The eyes look great. I'm gonna move on to your ears now. Okay. Um, no hearing loss or history of hearing loss? Nope. Okay. So we'll take a look inside first. Let me just sanitize my tool here. the ear. We do have several piercings here. I'm not going to press too hard, but any pain on the ear? No. About here? No. Okay. That ear is nice and clean. No redness. Same thing here. Any pain there? No. No pain? Good. Fine, just looking at the back of the piercings. How old are those? Like seven to ten years old. Okay, yeah, they look really well healed. Um, no bubbling or infections noted. Okay. I'm going to do some hearing tests. I want you to close your eyes. Okay. I want you to tell me which side you hear my finger wiggling on, left, right, or both. Okay. okay. Right. Left. Right. Both. Good. Left. Right. Both. Okay. Now tell me, you hear that here? Tell me when it goes away. Oh. Okay. Hear that? 
Oh, wait. Um, cover one ear light for me. Okay. I'm going to uh, start with the other side. Cover the other side. I'm going to just whisper something. I want you to repeat it back to me, okay? Okay. C-R-8. C-R-8. Good. Do the same thing on the other side. So cover the opposite ear. L, V, 4. Perfect. Got a tuning fork here. I'm just going to hit it, put it on the top of your head. Tell me if you hear it more left, right, or both on equally on both sides. Okay. Equal. Okay. Do you hear this there? Yes. Tell me when it goes away. No. Do you hear that there? Mm-hmm. When did it go away? No. Same thing on the other side. Hear that there? Yep. Tell me when it goes away. No. No. Perfect. So air conduction is better than bone, which is exactly what we look for. All right, so moving on to the nose. I'm just going to have you cover one, take a breath, breath in. And the other side, good patency. You do have a piercing on that side. Again, looks very well healed. And relax. I'll take a look into the nose. Just tilt your head up for me, please. And no deviation of the septum noted. No redness. Nice and clear. Okay. Close your eyes. I'm going to give you some smells to smell. Okay. Just do your best. You have to sort of waft them in. So tell me, what do you smell there? Take a deep breath. Mm. Yeah, it's citrus, lemon. That's okay. close enough. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And cover one of those nostrils again. Very small on that side. Mm. Like a mint? Mm. Not quite. <laughs> okay. Well, tell me here, I, do you smell the difference between that one, close the, other, close the other side, and this one? What does that one smell like? Mm, I, I'm smelling mint. Yep. Yeah. So that one is peppermint. Oh, okay. So the one you didn't get was lavender. Okay. But, you know, it's okay. You can smell. You don't have any problem with okay. your smell, which is good. You don't have to pass these 100% to be successful. <laughs> All right, I'll take a look into the mouth. So just open for me and just say, ah, ah, good. You look at the rises. You look healthy. It looks like you are going every six months, you said. So they should be working on that. Can you press your tongue into your cheek for me? Good, nice and strong in this way. And stick it out and move it side to side, looking for drooping that way, that way. Perfect. Um, can you uh, smile for me nice and big Good. and frown for me? Perfect. Um, Scrunch your eyebrows up. Don't let me move them down. Okay. Close your eyes nice and tight. Don't let me open them. Good. Um, puff your cheeks out and don't let me push them in. Okay. So that's good for your uh, cranial nerve 5. Nice and um, symmetric and strong, especially uh, we already tested the jaw strength. So okay. that's good. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to sensory testing now. So it's going to involve me um, doing different um, stimuli on the face and the chest for different uh, dermatones of the body, making sure there's no um, lesions that could be causing numbness, tingling, or, or um, lack of sensation in, in the face. Okay. okay. So I'll start out with just a little swap here. And I will just have you um, uncross your legs and face forward. And I'm going to just move the hair out of the way. And close your eyes for me. And just say yes when you feel something. Yes. 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 Okay, does that feel the same here and here? Yes. Here and mm -hmm. here? Same? Okay, say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 And that feels the same side. Yes. The same. 
Okay, I'm cracking this in half. It's going to produce a little bit of a pointier edge. Is mm -hmm. that you feel that difference between that and that? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me what you feel, sharp or dull? Sharp. Moving down here. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. 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 Very good. What temperature does that feel like to you? Uh, cold. Cold there? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Same coldness down the face like that? Mm -hmm. Hold here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What um, sensation does that feel like to you? A vibration. Okay. Same. Still feel it? No. How about now? Yes. No. Yes. I've got just a very sharp tool here, um, and I just want to do the same thing with the sharper doll, but I'm going to just run it down the face. Okay. Um, tell me if anything changes. So um, it is quite sharp. Is that tolerable for you? Yeah. Okay, tell me if anything changes. I'm going to go down the face along the lines of the dermatons. Okay. Is that the same? Yeah. Same? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, so sensory in the face and chest area is intact. Um, no discrepancies there, right? You didn't notice anything suddenly change or feel uncomfortable. All right, perfect. So let's move down um, to do the arms, and I'll start with the reflexes. So I'll just have you give me all the weight of this arm. Just completely relax. Completely, completely. Good. You just have a very light arm. <laughs> Not super reactive. Let's try one more way. A little bit. Okay. Not super reactive. Is that normal for you? No. You're usually hyper reactive? I haven't had this done in a long time, so I, I couldn't say. Okay. Again, just relax. Give me all the weight. Yeah, it's not, not very reactive reflexes. Okay. Just going to scrape the bottom of the hand. Ignore me. Just look straight ahead. Right here. Keep looking straight ahead. Good. Hang the jaw for me. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll do the lower body reflexes when we go down there. Okay. So you said you're having sometimes a few chest palpitations. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? How often is that happening for you? Um, maybe once a week. Okay, so it's fairly frequent. Um, is it preceded by anything or just suddenly kind of comes on and feel like sudden. chest pounding kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. So let's take a listen um, first to the heart and then to the lungs. So just breathe normally. I'm just going to place this in a couple of places. Okay there. Mm -hmm. 
just going to come underneath this arm here. hear any abnormalities but if you're not having those palpations right now it might be a little bit hard okay. um do you feel it right over the heart or is it more like in the chest as a wall overall um like right over the right heart. over the heart okay um i'm glad you had the ekg done just to rule out anything super serious mm -hmm. but it's definitely something you might want to keep an eye on if it's happening as much as once a week mm -hmm. um, that is a bit i would say abnormal um so worth worth looking more into okay. um but again everything sounded great just now so it's a little hard for me to say right, in this right. moment all right i'm going to listen to the lungs so just take a deep breath for me when you feel my stethoscope okay, okay. are clear. Just gonna tap on the chest. And lift this arm for me please. Can we over here? Okay. And the other side. Okay. Nothing noted there. Um, any shortness of breath with the uh, palpitations? No. Okay. Um, can you say 99 for me, please? 99. More time. 99. 99. Okay. No tactile fremitus noted. I just want to um, take a look at the skin here. And again, just a bit of tattoo on the front that looks well healed. Have you ever had any um, reactions, allergic reactions? Mm -hmm. I'll take a look at the arms as well. Put the hands over for me. The nails have color, but can't breathe really as good. Can you go like this for me? I just want to see for any clubbing. Just the nails next to each other. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Can I check the other side here? I am feeling that coolness in the hands for sure, for sure. Yeah. So I want you to do a couple of things, range of motion things for me. Okay. Arms up like this and down. Any pain in the elbows with that? Okay, up again. Can you hold them there? And keep me close. Okay, perfect. Good strength. Up like this. Don't let me push down. Okay. Hands like this. Let me pull forward, keep the hand upright. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Fingers out nice and wide. Don't let me push the fingers in. Good strength. Slightly. No, it's pretty good. It's pretty even side by side. Um, can you touch all your fingers like that? Okay. Up like this. Just have you hold it for 10 seconds. Any tingling? sensations. Okay, flip them around like that. I'm going to tap on the wrists here. Any tingling? No. Very good. No carpal tunnel noted uh, or issues with the carpal tunnel. Um, I want to do that same sensory exam that we did on the face but on the arms. If you don't mind pushing okay. the sleeves up a little. Yeah. So again, I just have that um, same little cotton swab. I'm going to run it down. I want you to just close your eyes and say yes when you feel it. Put the arms over for me, please. Yep. Yep. Yes. And it's the same side to side. Here. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Again, this is sharp. This is dull. You feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you feel. 
Do. Do. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Sharp. Do. 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 And flip over. Sharp. Do. Good. Do. Do. Sharp. Sharp. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. What does that feel like? Cold. Here. Cold. 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 Okay. And what do you feel there? Uh, vibration. Tell me when it stops. Stopped. Okay. On this side. Feel that? Mm-hmm. Tell me when it goes away. Stop. Okay. Can I have that little uh, Mortenberg wheel? I'm going to be running it down those dermatones. Tell me if anything feels less sharp. Same. Mm -hmm. Flip the arms over for me. Last one here, 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 same. And down that middle finger. Same, okay. I'm going to take this finger here. I'm going to be moving the joint up and down. Tell me which direction I'm going. This is down, this is up, okay? Down, down, up. Okay, on this side, same thing. Up. Down, up, okay. I'm gonna be poking you with either one point or two points in the hand. This is two points, that's one point. You feel the difference? Okay, tell me what you feel. Two, one, two, two, one. Okay, on this side. Two, 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 one. Tell me what number I'm drawing. A three. Okay, and on this side, I'm gonna draw another number. Seven. Okay, can you add those together for me? Ten. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just a couple extra neurological tests, um, but everything seems to be functioning great. So um, I'm going to move down to your lower body, do some reflexes and check the skin there as well. And then um, I just wanna take a listen to your back before we end the assessment. Okay, so moving down to the lower body now. Maybe if I just roll up the pant leg a little. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look at the leg. That's fine. I'm really feeling the joints here, especially the knee joints, can start having some pain in it. As we get older, just checking for cartilage, it's swelling, any pain or discomfort in the knee. Mm -hmm. okay. um, scoot back on the chair as far as you can. I'm just gonna get the reflexes. Just try and sort of relax the leg out. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Push against me, push out, and push out, up with this leg, good, nice and strong, and this leg, good, and up with the toes, and down, good, just change my gloves out here, I'll just do a quick sensory test on the legs, um, you've been normal throughout, so I'm not super worried about it. So we'll just do, just say yes when you feel something, and I'll actually just do it over the pant because you um, haven't had any sensitivity issues so far, so. Hello? Yes. Okay, good. 
And does this feel sharp? Yes. On this side? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's fine. So to finish up, I'm just going to have you turn around and I want to check the back, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm just going to remove the hair to the side here. And I already took a look at the skin. I just want to watch for breathing for a second. Just tapping again. Take a breath when you feel my stethoscope. One more. Okay. Say 99 for me. 12. You just sort of bend your head forward as if you're diving into a pool, just like that. Okay, and come up one vertebrae at a time. Perfect. Okay, no scoliosis noted there as well. All right, so I'll have you um, turn back around for just to get your vitals before the end of today's exam, but um, my findings have so far have been relatively normal, okay? Awesome. All right, so let's just get your vitals here. So I'm just gonna run this along the forehead and behind the ear. Side. No fever, 98.1, that's perfect. Okay, do you have um, an arm preference for blood pressure? This one's fine. Okay. okay. So you will feel get just a little bit tight here. Okay. And relax the arm. Just on there. Perfect. Pressure was just a little, little bit low. Is that common for you? Okay. Do you ever get lightheaded when you stand up too fast, things like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And lastly, I'll just get your finger for me, please. And just let that sit there and relax while I get my findings here. Okay, 98% oxygen and pulse is 82, which is normal. All right, so I'm just going to note a couple of things that we discovered today. So um, right here on this side, there's just um, one slightly irregularly shaped um, flat freckle mole uh, about one and a half to two millimeters. So I just want to keep an eye on that. Nothing I'm worried about now, uh, but because it's in a hidden spot there, I just want to keep track of it. Um, I didn't note anything abnormal about the chest sounds, the heart sounds, um, but once a week, a little bit of fluttering in the chest is unusual for someone your age, okay. um, so it could be worth looking deeper into if it's really uncomfortable for you. Mm -hmm. um, also worth noting, 
maybe keeping a notebook of when it happens, if it's preceded by uh, periods of stress or anxiety that can also cause some fluttering in the chest, um, or if it's you know after eating quite a bit, because it could be gastrointestinal as well. Everything else looked really healthy and normal. Um, reflexes were not super reactive. So again, we'll just keep a note of that so we know for next time. Um, so you hadn't done it in a while, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. And stress or anxiety about being at the doctor can also affect that. So okay. again, not, not worried. Looks like you are in actually great health today. Um, so we'll keep everything on record and just schedule you out for about a year. Does that sound okay? Sounds great. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Um, anything else I can do for you today? No, you did it all. All right, well, nice to meet you, Amber. Nice to meet you, too. And I will um, talk to you soon. All right.